must listen to me and replace that fake air sets alligator with the real one and of course enrich us in the process all right Sir, let me get your name and number, and I'll have Mr. Batson call you. All right. Oh, lady. My name is the big, fat, white guy. What do you got, eczema? <laughs> Lupus, son. And my son's name is the little, big, fat, white guy. And we live at 4215. <laughs> What's your phone number? Uh, <laughs> why? Do why do you want a phone number? <laughs> Come on, who is this? Bindi, it's the big fat white guy. You guys are crazy. Who uh, is this? We were able to manage to suck you off the speakerphone, weren't we, man? Yes, we, were, we have you in our clutches now, don't we? This is too funny. Thank you, you very much. This you are too funny. attracted to our number? obvious sexual prowess, please. You, me, Tombo, that at the Motel 6. Come on, Bindi. Hey, you guys, this is, this is getting a little out of hand. What's your problem? Oh. No, it's getting out of here. Who's the one who began flirting? <laughs> Adolf the alligator See, is out there. Adolf the alligator is an imposter. Got feeding that whole media crew. That damn alligator is an imposter. You're going to find out when he runs low on batteries and you got to replace them. <laughs> They're Duracells, by the way. <laughs> you guys are too funny. Well, thank you very much. May I introduce uh, our cohorts? Can I ask you a question? Yes. No. <laughs> you guys are about ready to crack up. Now, who is this? Mindy? Is this... Mid is this Mindy, you would you take your top off? <laughs> <laughs> we want to talk to you right now on the conference line. Okay, hold on just a moment then. All right. Keep talking. Keep talking. Listen, we got to go, Mindy. You've been a very good sport. Bye-bye, <laughs> okay. okay. sweetheart. Bye. I like play the music now. Who's the desperatest criminal in town? What crook is eight feet around? Who's a big, fat, evil mound? In green and scaly. It's the big, fat, white guy. That's me. With his son, the little, big, fat, white guy. That's me. What's the topic this time? This time, I want to touch on large breasts that cause freeways to collapse. Isn't this a rather bizarre topic? Not for my stupid commercials. I deal in all areas of the law. I can't just weed out the intelligent topics for you. That would leave me no time for golf and gabbing on my car phone. Well, by all means, continue. Thank you. Let's say you're driving in your car, and you see this fabulous pair of twin hooters that causes you to lose control of your car, run over an escaped orangutan, causing you and the orangutan to careen wildly into a ditch, breaking all four of your legs, and weakening a pylon support beam on I-95, which months later causes 75 cars to sail off the expressway and come crashing down right into the Palace Station Kino room wiping out untold number of blue-haired old ladies who wind up impaled on their walkers. Well, that seems pretty unlikely to me. Does this kind of thing happen? All the time. The question is, who is responsible? Would it be the driver, or perhaps the babe with the hooters who distracted him in the first place? Neither. Jerry Tarkanian is responsible. Ask the NCAA. You can pin anything on him and make it stick. And what's our topic next time? Attorneys who punch out stupid disc jockeys for making them late for their golf game. You've been on the David Schmallen Injury Hotline with attorney David Schmallen. Take this. Uh. And this. Oh. Have one of these.